Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements Microsoft has made in the monthly cumulative updates for all supported versions of Windows 11. While these updates do not usually include new features, they mostly focus on resolving identified issues and addressing vulnerabilities. So, here are some details. This update addresses CVE 2024. Because of this, the Use My Windows User Account checkbox is not available on the lock screen to connect to Wi-Fi. This update removes the registry key, NetJoin Legacy Account Reuse. This update applies SBAT to systems that run Windows. This stops vulnerable Linux EFI from running. This SBAT update will not apply to systems that dual boot Windows and Linux. After the SBAT update is applied, older Linux ISO images might not boot. If this occurs, work with your Linux vendor to get an updated ISO image. This update hardens DNS server security to address CVE 2024-37968. If the configurations of your domains are not up to date, you might get the server fail error, or timeout. There is a known issue in this update, regarding BitLocker. A BitLocker recovery screen shows when you start up your device. This occurs after you install the July 9, 2024 update. This issue is more likely to occur if device encryption is on. To unlock your drive, go to Settings, then Privacy and Security, and select Device Encryption. Windows might ask you to enter the recovery key from your Microsoft account. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.